everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am Hannah and I do videos here on YouTube. So today's video is another one coincide with the two videos ago. So I have been reviewing the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Collection. So I thought I went on my Instagram once again. If you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Hansa Loose. Everything is in the description. I did ask on my poll on Instagram um, whether you guys would want me to do another um review on the palette now i thought i might as well do all four so it's even just in case you want to pick because you can either buy the vault together or you can buy it separately i will go into that further in a second and then i put up another poll basically asking you what of the three palettes other than the ring the alarm which is already done if you haven't seen the ring the alarm palette it will be right up here or it will be in the description you guys wanted me to do the armed and gorgeous palette so today we will be reviewing not reviewing but sort of testing out and first impressions on the new jaclyn hill morphe Armed and gorgeous palette. Okay, so for those who don't know, this palette retails for £15 or $15, whether you're in the UK or the US or Europe. Um, you can get this on the Morphe website. It doesn't stock anywhere else other than the Morphe website. Now, you can buy the Vault full collection for $49, but you can use the code JackAttack or MAKEUP to get 10% off. So obviously, I'm not going to go into um, packaging and details and things like that and my personal review on it. If you want to see a personal view on what I thought on the whole collection as a whole, then please feel free to check out my Ring the Alarm review because I talk a lot more in depth here. Here, I'm just going to do strictly a tutorial. So, I'm going to go into how what the shades look like i will be doing swatches obviously guys don't judge my swatches because i'm learning and plus i've got really really small fingers so the swatches don't look even now i am learning so just bear with me and because this is the different this is the armed and gorgeous version so on the front you'll have the confetti of like sort of like a caramel mustardy yellow so that symbolizes armed and gorgeous armed and gorgeous is labeled on the top now this is the packaging i really like this as i've said because i feel it's travel friendly every palette comes with a mirror as you can see these are what the shades from the armed and gorgeous palette look like now i think this is going to be besides from ring the alarm which is already sold out on the uk website i think armed and gorgeous might be a, cl might be a close second reason being if i can hold it in a in a way that um, as you can see from the Armed and Gorgeous palette, the reason why I think it might be really, really loved is because one of this green and two the yellows in this palette. However, I have seen some controversy about how the yellows are very similar. I don't really, or like the yellow oranges, it doesn't really bother me. I'm going to show you whether they are and my thoughts on what I think about them being very, very similar if they are to be. There is like, this looks like a white, but it's actually a shimmery white. Again, these have the names labeled on the actual palette. Now there are 10 shades. There are 10 shades in all of the palettes equal in 40 shades altogether for £49, which is really, really good comparing to what they should be is £60. So I think I'm going to definitely be using this green. I will be doing swatches for you just in a second. But my overall view is this could have done with maybe a little bit of a deeper brown, something maybe a little bit deeper than that. On the camera, it looks black, if that. But I think if you can... I don't know if you can see it. it's more of like a just a little bit darker than that this brown here so this is smooth criminal and that is proud I think this could be a tad bit deeper I think you could swap maybe I'm not really feeling this shade classified like it's just a really strange shade you could switch that with maybe a like a deeper not black but maybe like a maroon deep dark brown this is dark brown but a deep dark brown i'm gonna give you some swatches of this palette please don't judge a girl on her swatches because she ain't no swatcheroo like i'm not obviously from my journey on youtube i will then learn how to swatch but for now my swatches ain't good okay so these are the swatches from the eyeshadow palette now i'm gonna be honest with you they swatch terribly like i've said this in my previous video the armed and um, the ring the alarm palette they swatched terribly the only two shades that swatched good were coin and classified now the classified is actually a really really beautiful like i don't know how to it's really an army shade i feel like it's very much this is very much an armed and gorgeous palette like it is gorgeous however they swatch terribly like the shade agent like is just terrible swatched is terribly swatched the shade access and top secret swatched okay like i, I had seen from previous videos how people said that this um this shade top secret swatched terribly the other shade smooth criminal swatch terribly obviously we can't go off of judgment of swatches but that is how they swatch now they're not great swatches um so i don't know 
Okay, so I am just gonna start dipping into the palette. I'm definitely gonna use this green, which is top secret. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna start this. So I'm gonna take my very much loved Morphe M441 brush. This is like one of my classics for like really starting to blend. I have washed these so much lately. I know it sounds bad because I've been doing so many eyeshadow looks. I think the first color I'm going to go in with is the shade Access. I'm gonna go with this. Um, there's no fallout. It did pick up a nice little bit of pigment. I'm not finding there's any fallout. I wouldn't say these eyeshadows are as creamy as the original Morphe ones. I feel that the original Morphe ones, this is a different formula. Now, I don't know what to think, but it's definitely, it doesn't feel like a Morphe shadow. So I'm gonna take this shade into my crease, just like, uh, just above the, the brow, like just on the brow bone and on the crease just to make sure that we've got a little definition, a little tiny bit of a transition shade. So I'm going to bring this into my crease. Okay, it's not that pink. Okay, maybe it is. Blending nicely, however, I'm just... I'm not seeing like much pigment, like you're gonna really have to dig into this eyeshadow and build it up, but it could be a decent transition shade. If you want it to be a vibrant yellow, I don't think you'll get that from this shade. I feel, um, I think from this shade, it comes off different. Um, it is coming off really nicely. In person, it comes off better. Um, I don't know, but I'm just gonna feel I'm gonna have to really deepen, like build this up with a lot of times going in and out, in and out, but I don't know, it's not terrible. Just, I've seen better yellows. I feel her yellow in her original palette is a lot better than this one. However, I do like the type of shade, but the color this comes off on camera, it looks different, but I'm, I'm really liking like the, like the payoff, the type of color it's giving off. I, Morphe M573 brush. I'm gonna go in with the say, shade Secure, which is sort of like this sort of like burnt orange decent pigment this okay on the brush is looking proper like a vibrant orange so i don't know i don't know how this is going to play on the eye either but i'm just going to start to build this just to build a little bit of depth so i'm going to bring it just into the crease I... Don't get me wrong, they're blending, just these type of eyeshadows are going to take ages to actually build up. Actually, no, it's not that bad. I think maybe my mirror is just because normally I'm used to like bam pigment. But do you know what? I'm actually liking that like you have to go in a little bit more. It is like a little bit time consuming. But at the same time, it's like that's decent because I think sometimes it can be overwhelming for the individual. I think for the individual it can be a bit overwhelming, like for someone that's like not really into like these bright eyeshadows and likes to do just a simple look. I think with someone like a beginner or someone who doesn't like to play with eyeshadows too, too much, if, a, if an eyeshadow is too overbearing or too pigmented, it can make a look go from 100 to zero very, very quickly. It can mess up the look. But I think when you build up with pigments like this, I think beginners will really, really like this palette. I think for someone like me, I would get a little bit tired constantly going in, but they are really, really beautiful shades. Like I'm not saying they're not beautiful shades, but they do take a little bit of time to build. Cure and Agent just seem to have different undertones, so um, Agent looks a bit, Agent looks a bit um, cool tone, and Secure looks a bit warm tone. So I'm gonna go into the shade Top Secret, which is this like army green, it's sort of like a khaki green, which is, I haven't seen that in an eyeshadow, I don't think ever, like off camera, it doesn't really look khaki, but I haven't seen a true khaki green eyeshadow I think ever. This one has a little bit of fallout but don't know it could be just because this palette is really really difficult the color is really really difficult to formulate so I am thinking of maybe doing a halo eye so I am just going to start to build this up both in the outer corner and the inner corner. Okay we might have just messed up this eyeshadow look we might just have, I'm not saying we have, but we might just have. Now that's top secret shade. 
Okay, maybe we haven't. You see there where it's like it's gathering now. I I was I was gonna I was gonna expect that anyway. I really really was. But let's see if we can blend it. I don't know how I feel about that. Like it's a nice green. However, like it just I don't know. Like once again, I'm having to go in for ages. Like it's just not a good shade. Like it's, I think I might just have ruined this look. It's, oh, it's not even blending. Like there's a massive patch. I never thought I'd have to go through. <laughs> I never thought I'd have to go through this, but oh my gosh. I don't know guys, I don't know. Does it look okay on camera? Because to me, it just looked really patchy. So excited for this green as well. I was really, really excited for the green. Okay, it's not looking too bad now as I'm blending it a bit more. I wouldn't advise you use the shade that, oh God, I've got on my cheek. I'm gonna take my Morphe A30, E27 brush, I need to clean this up. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Secure just to make sure I can blend all the edges out because this is a hot mess. Make sure that we can blend everything. I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 brush and I'm gonna go, I think hopefully this can save the day, I'm gonna go in with the shade and mix between Smooth Criminal and Prowl. Put this in the inner. Am I using the wrong brushes or? I'm not very happy. I'm a little bit disappointed in this palette. I was expecting more, but I'm a little bit disappointed. So you know what? I'm just gonna try and see if I can clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my one of my Morphe flat brushes just to see if I can pack on a little bit of pigment. I'm gonna go in with Classified because that was the only one that actually swatched well. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Classified right on my brush. Okay, it picked up a decent amount. I think if I put on, um, can see it's just gonna ruin it. So I'm just gonna pat this on. See, this is nice. Like, I like that. I think that's really, really nice. I don't think this is like the best. It is a bit crumbly, but I do like that. Okay, this is a Morphe shimmer. Like, this is a Morphe shimmer. This is what I was waiting for. Like, this shimmer is gorgeous. This is what I paid my money for. Okay, so now I've applied my lashes, I am gonna go into back into the palette. Underneath my eye, I'm gonna go into the shade Secure, which is that beautiful burnt orange shade. I'm gonna go into the shade Secure and just run that underneath my lash line. Okay, so again, I'm still seeing there's like just, I'm, I'm going in so many times and I'm still not getting the payoff. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Smooth Criminal, Smooth Criminal right here. I'm really liking this palette. I like the shades, I think the shades are perfect, but. Okay, so for lastly, for my inner corner, I am gonna go in with the Vibrant White shade, which is the shade VIP. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe. This is from the Eye Credible set, yeah. The corner. A little bit of grip trip, is it? Oh, grip trip. I'm gonna add a little bit of guilt trip right here into the inner corner as well. Just add a little bit more gold. Okay, so I've completed the rest of my face. There wasn't much else to do. Applied lashes. As I said, I've redone the um, lower lash line. Now, my lighting looks a little bit different, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see all of this. Now, I have completed the eye look. Everything is done. My final thoughts on the Armed and Gorgeous Eyeshadow Palette by Jaclyn Hill. It's, feel the color, sh color range is perfect. Like, honestly, this would be like my all go-to autumn palette. Like, this and Ring the Alarm would be my like go-to 
autumn palette. As you can see, it's beautiful. However, the pigment and the the blendability is okay. I'll, I'll give the blendability decent um, for like the oranges and the yellow. However, for example, the green and the browns don't really show up. And the green, I think the colour is stunning. However, it doesn't come off like that on the lid. It doesn't. So I'd beware. Um, the best part thing about the palette, which is why I'm a little bit disappointed, is the shimmers. Look, you can see there's like a hole in, like, there's like a little bit of a hole in classified anyway. Like, I had to... Even if I was putting on a little bit, loads came off. Like, that is the best shade. I feel because we've done a halo eye, sort of, it really cleared up the look and made sure I didn't mess it up too, too much. But I'm not that happy with this palette. This palette is not... Ooh. This palette is not my favourite. Ring the Alarm did a lot better. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like a full thing where it's going to be with the other two palettes, like Dark Magic and Bling Boss. However, I think it could go away. It could just be this palette. Um, I don't know what I'm feeling. I think it could be just because of the colours that they were. How they didn't work. The eyeshadow look, you would look at it in face value and think, oh, it's really, really nice. However, it took me ages to build up this type of look. And this is a very, very simple look. I think the green has just disappeared. I think it's gone very muddy. Um, I think the browns barely showed up. I was like, these are not Morphe shadows. Um, I've played around with Morphe shadows for a long, long time to know what a Morphe shadow is. This is not a Morphe shadow. This is very, very diff palette. This isn't Morphe shadow. This isn't like her original Jacqueline palette anyway. Um, so I don't know. I think if I was to if I was to know this in advance, like if I knew that this performed this way, I would not have purchased this. But I bought the whole vault. If I was to buy this individually, I'll be honest. If you want it just for the colours, then yeah. But if you want it for the pigment and the the overall la like the pigment, the blendability, the blendability is probably the best thing about the palette. I really, really, I really, really do like the colour range. Like the shades in this palette are beautiful. Just they, as again, they do not look like this. In a sense, I just, I don't know. It's just, it isn't my favourite. I think the best thing you're going to get about this palette is probably the shimmers. Especially this classified. Like, classified is the best shade in this palette. The yellow is nice um, access, but I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. Well, obviously, I'm not going to just leave it here and just do one look and give you one judgement. Like, of course, all of my other judgements and things like that, me, I talk more about these products on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on my Instagram, please check me out because these are just like reviews and first impressions. I then delve more into the palette on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, please, please, please follow me. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram because I'm more active on there. I'm always active on there. Any questions, it's, I'm easy to easier to get hold of on there. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. It would mean the absolute world to me. If you want to see more reviews on different products, not just the Morphe palette, then just comment below what products, whether it's foundations, concealers, you name it. I'll hopefully purchase it and it gets hold of it for you and review it for you. So if you did enjoy this video, like I said, give it a massive thumbs up. If you're new here and you've just come to my channel to watch the Ardem Gorgeous palette, I would love if you could hit the subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world. And I love you all and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.